ancient red dragon slithered up to her and said, Did God really say? Boom. Doubt. Doubt crept into Eve's mind by the temptation of the devil. See, the devil really doesn't have many tricks up his sleeve. He's not all powerful like God. All he can do is lie. But those lies can cause us poor humans to doubt, did God really say? Like it worked on Eve, that doubt question works on us too. What God says in the Bible can at times be mind-blowing or mind-bending, causing us to doubt what God has said in the Bible. But have you ever noticed what happens immediately after Eve doubts and with Adam they eat the fruit? God comes to them, not to condemn them, but to speak with them. God comes with his word to his people. And what God speaks affirms that his word to them is true. That which he had spoke to Adam is now a new reality in which they and us must live. But God's word isn't death. It is life and salvation. It is Jesus hanging on the tree of the cross, dying for your sins. It is Jesus resurrected for your salvation. It is Jesus who comes to you when you have doubts and questions and are just unsure about things. Jesus comes to you in your doubt to speak his word to you. Not to condemn you, but to assure you that he has forgiven you all your sins. Jesus comes to you with the word of absolution. Jesus comes to you with his body and his blood under the bread and the wine. Jesus comes to find you in your doubt. And when you have sinned, he comes to give you himself, to assure you that his words are still true. Take, eat, this is my body. Take, drink, this is my blood, shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Doubt dispels when Jesus comes to you as he has promised in his word.